Now we show how our method compares to certain related works. PCA can be modified by a process called Verimax rotation that localizes the principal components. But this locality cannot be easily controlled. In practice, the components still have global reach and show artifacts when activating a single component. Independent component analysis provides another alternative, but the components still have global reach. Clustered PCA tries to localize components by segmenting the mesh and performing separate PCA on each region. The resulting components themselves are not usable directly. An explicit blending step is required to remove seams on the borders. Inside one region, components are still tightly coupled. Skinning decomposition methods fit bone transformations to the animation. However, the bones themselves are not suitable for individual control. Here, we try to visualize this. We stop all but one individual bone from moving. The only bone still moving cannot generate a meaningful deformation on its own. And this is what happens if we do the same using our components. Each component describes a complete deformation by itself. Note that lifting a single eyebrow alone was not part of the input animation. In many situations, bone transformations tend to give too many degrees of freedom. We visualize this by editing the translation of one bone here, which quickly results in effects that were not part of the input data. In contrast, our components have a single activation weight parameter that is between 0 and 1. 